Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about relations and functions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here the definition of relation. Relation is a set of ordered pairs. So basic guys, relation is a set of ordered pairs. I have here an example of a relation in which, as you can see, I have here four different ordered pairs. We have negative 1, 3, the first ordered pair. We have negative 2 and 4, the second ordered pair. And we have negative 3 over 5 for the third ordered pair. And we also have negative 4 and 6 as your fourth ordered pair. But I simply do that, when it comes to relation, it is the set of all ordered pairs. And later on, so next part of our video, I will give you the different ways on how to represent a relation. So right now, proceed to the next terms natin, na pag-uusapan natin when it comes to relations and functions. We have here the two terminologies. We have the domain and range. Again, domain and range. Domain or X is the set of all first coordinates. While range, Y, is the set of all second coordinates. Itong domain natin, guys, is also known as your input. Marinerize nyo. And then this one is your output. Now, pag sinabi natin domain, usually, guys, pinapahanap ang domain at range ng isang given relation and even a function sa mga later part ng ating video. So, if I will be asked for the domain, Domain of this given relation, sabi sa definition natin, guys, again, for, from our definition, it is the set of all first coordinates. So, hanapin mo ngayon dito, nasan dito yung first coordinates? Remember, kapag meron tayong coordinates, ang coordinates natin ay represented by x, y. So, placement lagi ng ating domain or ng x value ay yung unang number sa ating ordered pair. So, dito... Sa mismong given relation natin, the domain is 1, ay negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So, ganito guys, uh, ito, yung mga, ito yung set of all first coordinates natin. Ito yung tinatawag natin domain. Pero pwede rin nyo rin siyang rearrange bilang ganito. We have... Um, ascending order tayo, pwede ascending order tayo. We have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. As you can see, kinuha natin yung first numbers dito. This, you have here negative 1, you have negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. Ayan yung domain na ating given relation. And for the range naman, for the range y, we know na yung range natin is the set of all second coordinates. So, kung tayo nung yung pangalawang coordinates natin, we have 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, kung i-arrange mo yan, we have 3, 4, 5, and 6. Ito na ngayon yung domain range natin. Now, in the next part of our video, I will give you the different ways on how to represent a relation. Okay? So, stay tuned, guys. Now, in this part of the video, I will give you the different ways on how to represent a relation. Yung first natin ay yung by ordered pairs. Ito yung first na binigay ko sa inyo with the definition of a relation. We have here 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 5. This is the first way on how to represent a relation using ordered pairs. Ang second way natin, or second representation ng relation, ay tinatawag natin table of values. As you can see, I have here a vertical table of values, but you can create a horizontal table of values, but this one, for the sake of our tutorial, at the information natin. For the first part, we have the possible x values, or yung domain natin, and yung y values natin, or yung range natin. Ang gagawin mo lang, to transform this one into a table of values, you need to um, list down all the numbers of all the values of x, which is 1, 
टू थ्री फोर एंड एस फॉर योर वाई वैल्यूज और डोमेन यू हैव वन थ्री फोर एंड फाइव From the given set of ordered pairs, ito na nga yung equivalent table of values ng ating given relation. And yung third type of representation natin, na yung tinatawag natin mapping diagram. Wherein, given these two ovals, all you need to do is to list down all the numbers or all the values of x here, like this one. You have 1, 2, 3, and 4. And for the y variables, I give it to x, and this is your y. And for the y variable, you have 1, 3, 4, and 5. And para makompleto ko yung mapping diagram natin, kailangan yung correspondence niya nakatapat sa rito. From your input or your x value papunta sa y value. And then ito naman, since ka-partner niya si 3, this is 3 to 4, and then ito yung corresponding, 4 corresponds to 5. Five. Ito yung yung tinatawag natin mapping diagram. And for the last way on how to represent a relation is by the graph. Since tayo yung naka-ordered pair, we can plot these points. We can plot this ordered pair and makakagrade tayo ng points. Let's have 1 comma 1. Ito siya. This is your 1 comma 1. Okay? So, lagyan natin yung coordinates 1 comma 1. And for the second coordinate, we have 2, 3, 1, 2, and then 3. Ito yung location na second point natin. We have 2, 3. Next, we have 3, 4. Ito yung next location natin. And then the fourth one is 4, 5. This is 4 and 5. Ito ngayon yung placement ng ating um, fourth ordered pair. So this is how you represent relations, guys. We have the set of ordered pairs, we have table of values, we have mapping diagram, and graph. So in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you the definition of function and examples of it. Now let's have the different types of relation. Kung kanina, we have defined What is our relation, uh, the domain, range, and we already talked about the different ways on how to represent a relation. Ngayon naman puntahan natin yung different types of relations. We have here the first one, which is yung one-to-one -one relation. So dito guys, ang ibig sabihin ng one-to-one -one relation is that if you have a um, set of values for x and set of values of for y, meron silang tag-iisang correspondence. Parang ganito lang. Uh, itong one natin, it simply, It solely, you know, uh, corresponds to 2. Itong 2 naman natin, it corresponds to 3. And yung 3 natin, it corresponds to 4. Your 4 corresponds to 5. Uh, kaya siya naging 1 to 1 dahil uh, wala nang ibang correspondence yung bawat elements natin o yung bawat values natin kay x. Okay? And now, for the second one, we have 1 to many relation. Again, magkaiba sila ha. 1 to many relation. That is different from one to one. Obviously, that is different from one to one. Ngayon, so paano naman po yung one to many? So as you can see, we have two different values for x. Or meron tayong domain na one and five. Ang one to many natin, let's say for example, one. Kapag meron siya correspondence na greater than one. Okay? So as you can see, yung one natin, yung one value natin for x, it corresponds to three values for y. And yung five naman natin, it corresponds to 5 and 4. So, ito ay example ng one-to-many relation. And next naman natin ay yung many to one. So, as you can see, um, ito naman yung reverse process ng one-to-many, yung many to one, in which yung four values of x natin, it corresponds to a single output or a, to a single value of y. Kaya siya many to one. So, in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you the definition and examples of a function. Now, let's have the definition of a function. When we say function, function is a relation in which each input x has only one output y. So, before we start uh, elaborating this definition, I want you to uh, 
um, know this one, function is a relation. Parang ganito lang yun, guys. Um, lahat ng functions ay relation. Pero hindi lahat ng relation ay function. Okay? So, mas malaki pa rin yung sakot ng relations compared to function kasi under lang ni relation ang isang function. Now, I have here two different relations. So, check na natin. Alin sa dalawang to ang example ng function as we elaborate this definition. Sabi dito again, function is a relation in which each input x has only one output y. So, I want you to observe the first um, set of ordered pairs. We have 1, 4, 2, negative 3, 4, 10. Well, the other set of uh, ordered pair, we have 1, 3, negative 2 and 5, 1 and 4. I want you to focus on the x variable or x values. We have here 1, 2, 4. Again, 1, 2 and 4. Well, on the other relation, we have 1, negative 2, 1. Again, 1, negative 2, and 1. As you can see, dito, we have unique values of x na merong corresponding value of y. While on the other set of ordered pairs, meron tayong repetition sa ating x values. Okay? Meron tayong repetition. Ngayon, alin sa dalawang to ang function? This one, this first set, is a function. Ito naman, hindi siya makakonsider na function because yung input natin ay may, may naunit. Kasi for example, yung 1 natin. Yung input natin na 1 ay meron siyang dalawang correspondence which is 1 is to 3 tapos 1 is to 4. In which sabi dito, each input x has only one output y. So, dapat walang repetition. So, this one is a mere relation or in other words, pwede natin sabihin na relation lang siya. Okay? So, clarify ko lang guys ha. Itong first example natin is also is an example of relation. Pero to be specific, this one is classified as a function. Kasi lahat naman niya na yung relation. Ito, hindi siya function because meron tayong nauulit na x values. So, ito yung formation kapag yung iyong ano, yung iyong um, set of ordered pairs ay function. Paano naman sir kapag table of values? So, let's say for example, meron tayong table of values dito. Let's have these values. Let's try this one. These are the values of x. And for the values of y, Try natin. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, tapos 4, 5, 6, 7. So as you can see guys, um, kung focus na ngayon sa x values natin, 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, this table of values is an example of a function. Kasi walang nauulit na x value. Okay? Walang nauulit na x value. So this one is a function. Now, Another example, punta natin yung map mapping diagram. Let's have one, ah, sige, wait natin, A, B, C. Dito naman, um, one, two, three. Kung ang mapping diagram nyo ay ganito, automatic function yan. Lalo na, lalo na, lalo na kung one to one yung inyong correspondence. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung different, uh, yung definition natin ng relation, uh, yung domain range, at yung different ways on how to represent a relation, tapos yung types ng relation, and then yung tinatawag natin function. So, wait yun lang yung mga next videos natin about function kasi mas maraming pa tayong ilalabas sa video patungkol sa function kasi napakalawak ng topic na function. So, again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!